Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates where it's simple, easy, and delicious in my kitchen. Over here I have some delicious ingredients. We're going to make one skillet, sausages, peppers, and onions. You can eat these in a hoagie bun. You can eat these over mashed potatoes. Let me know guys how you want to eat your sausages, peppers, and onions. All right, I've got my large skillet over here. So let's go ahead and get started. You're gonna need one pack of some Italian sausages. This is a mild flavor and there's five of them in this package. You're gonna need your favorite pasta sauce. Now I've got a lot of peppers over here, one of every color. So I've got red, yellow, orange, and green, two onions, some fresh garlic, and then we're gonna season it with some salt, some pepper, some Italian seasoning. And then to get this all started, you're just gonna need some cooking oil and some butter. I've got one tablespoon of cooking oil heating up in a very large skillet over medium high heat. Once this gets hot, we're gonna go ahead and start adding our sausages. Now you want to add the sausages to a hot skillet, that way they sear, because we want to brown them on all sides. Okay, you see that sear going on right there? That's what you want when you first put your sausages in. It's gonna take about two minutes on this side, and then we're gonna start rotating them around on each side until they're nice and browned. While the sausages are browning, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my peppers. Now I did wash these off and dry them. And we're gonna make strips. So I'm just gonna cut all around the whole entire pepper here. I'm gonna flatten this out. And I'm just gonna cut this into strips. Oh. That's the color we're looking for. Mmm, that would smell really good in there. All right, we're gonna cook it another two minutes. And then we're gonna finish chopping up our peppers. Now, if you use a lot of different colors, it makes the dish really pretty, really nice to eat. Oh yeah. So what I'm going to do is just kind of prop them up. I'm going to remove the sausages out of the pan and just place them on a plate. We're not cooking the sausages all the way through. We're just browning them and give them a nice sear. All right, to the pan, we still have some oil in the bottom of the pan. I'm going to add some butter. I've removed my pan off the heat for just a minute to kind of cool it down just a little bit. add our peppers because they cook the longest. I'm going to season with some salt. And some black pepper. About an eighth of a teaspoon each. We're going to start cooking these. Until they get nice and soft. And about halfway through, we're going to add the onion. I'm using two onions. Just cut the ends off. Take the outer peel off. If you want to use red, Onions, you can do that, as some people call them purple onion. I'm just going to cut it in half, and then I'm going to make big slices. 
Now just keep an eye on your peppers and just stir those around. I'm cutting the onions about the same size as the peppers. Yeah, that looks really good. Let's go ahead and we're going to add our onions to the peppers. All right, we're going to cook those down for another few minutes, probably three or four, until the peppers are softened. I'm just going to pull out some cloves from my garlic bulb. I'm just going to take the back edge of my knife, flatten each one. Just take the skin off. All right, and we're just going to rough chop. All right, when you have one minute left for your peppers and onions, we're going to go ahead and add our garlic. Let's stir the garlic in. We're going to cook it down for one more minute. I've made this recipe before a long time ago for you guys, but it was in the crock pot. So if you want to see how to do it in the crock pot, just follow the link down below in the description box and you can see that recipe. So this is pretty much almost the same, but we like the one skillet version also. Okay, one skillet sausages, peppers, and onions is like an Italian flavored dish. I'm gonna be adding in some pasta sauce. One of our favorites is Classico and the tomato and basil. And then I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. Now this is just dried and I'm gonna add one tablespoon into my peppers and onions and garlic. Give that a mix. We're gonna add our sauce. This is 24 ounces. I'm gonna add a quarter jar of water. Give that a shake. And then we're gonna add that. I'm gonna give this all a mix. I'm gonna turn the burner onto a high heat. We want this to come to a boil. We have a boil going on now. What we're gonna do is take the sausages that we've browned up and submerge them into the sauce. And then kind of cover them up with the peppers and the sauce. We're going to place the burner onto a medium, low, or low. We're going to let this simmer for 20 minutes. Okay, now is the time if you want to start your potatoes for mashed potatoes because you want to put that over that, or you can put your fries or tater tots in the oven because you want to make hoagies out of the sausage, peppers, and onions. Whichever way, now is the time. I'll be back. I'm going to show you how we're going to put this together. All right, I've taken the lid off of these sausage, peppers, and onions. Rested them just for a few minutes. Oh my gosh, look how delicious that sauce looks. So those peppers and onions. All right, this is the way my husband loves it. Stealing fries. <laughs> we got the sausage. I buttered the, the bun and put it in the oven at the last five minutes that the fries came out sprinkled some mozzarella cheese on top of the sausage and there's plenty of peppers and onions so that's how he's going to eat his but i wanted to show y'all the inside of that sausage and then i'm going to show you how tender it is i'm going to give it a try for you mm. That's so delicious. It's got that Italian flavors in there, and that delicious tomato sauce. And when you simmer those sausages, it pulls all those flavors together. Okay, give me a thumbs up on this one. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll know when shows are posted. I have a secret. If you haven't seen these yet, go check it out. <laughs> All right, that was my magic pumpkin cookie bars. 
Now they may not have gone out yet, or they may have, but if they have, I'll link them down below for you guys, or you can go find them. All right, I will see you on the next episode.